Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. Welcome to our word of the day series where I've been taking your requests for words which you would like help pronouncing in American English. If you have a request you'd like to see as part of this series, please feel free to leave it in the comments for this video or any of my videos and I'll add it to the list. If you can't wait uh, a few weeks to get your video made, you can attend our Friday live question and answer classes and you can ask me then. Those are on Fridays at 12 o'clock Seattle time, three o'clock Eastern time. Today's request was for the word drawer, which is a challenging word to say for sure, even for me. So let's break it down and try to make it a little bit easier for you to say this challenging word. So if I look at the word drawer, one of the things that's challenging is that the spelling of this word looks like the word draw. And the word draw has the ah vowel, uh, like in caught and law. And uh, for the ah, my jaw is fairly open and my lips are somewhat rounded. But even though uh, this looks like it should be draw plus er, uh, it's not. <laughs> so drawer uh, changes the vowel sound. We don't have the ah uh, vowel any longer, and we have instead the or diphthong. So just like the words more or store or or, we have an o moving into an er, or, or. And then it's very challenging because we have to put an initial r there as well. So I have to do the or with an r in front of it and a dr in front of it. So the second part of the word, this part of the word, is actually like the word roar, like a lion roars. And then we just add a D on. Now, I say that as though it's simple, but it's not simple. It can be quite difficult. So depending on where you find the challenge here, if you can say roar pretty easily, then just adding a D, roar, drawer, is going to be a good way to go but you may also find that the word roar is hard to say. So there I would suggest starting even all the way back down with just an er sound, getting that tight American R, er, and then I would try or, or, gliding from the O into the er, and then adding my R, or, roar. Basically I need to be in the er tongue position, roar, and I just open to the O and back to the er, roar. Then I can do drawer. I just close my tongue for the D, dr, dr, drawer. If that part is the part that's most challenging for you, try words like drive or um, drought. <laughs> that's not a very common word, but words that start with DR first, if that part, the blend part of the word drawer gives you a challenge. Um, okay, so I'm gonna think, have you think about this spelling to get remind you of the sounds drawer. You may hear that in some places in the U.S. they will say it more with kind of an aw vowel, like drawer, drawer. Um, that sounds like a southern drawl, drawl to me more. Uh, most uh, most places. Uh, I would think you're better off with the or pronunciation, drawer. If it goes a little drawer, people will probably understand you, but if the rest of your speech isn't more of that Southern accent, then you might want to avoid it because it might sound strange. Okay, so drawer, not easy, not even for me. When I can say the word by itself, I want to start trying to use it in some short phrases so that I get more comfortable using my new pronunciation. Um, so let's try a few. I'll put it in the drawer. Um, look in the drawer, maybe it's there. Um, I need to organize the drawer. Um, okay, good. Thank you so much for that request for that challenging word. I think that will help many people because it is something that is tough to say. If you, as I said, if you have a request, you can leave it in the comments. And if I have a video or resource for you for your word already, I'll direct you to that. Or if not, I'll add your word to my list and cover it later in the series. Thanks so much for being a part of the channel. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and especially the members who have joined. And I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's class. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound American, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye guys. See you tomorrow.